My goal was to travel the world and snowboard. I was 19, feeling like I was completely in control of my life. And then, in one day, my entire life changed. I'm Amy Purdy, and this is my story of how I survived meningitis. I remember feeling great that day. Nothing was out of the ordinary, and I just started to feel sick. Nothing too bad, but like a flu. The next morning, I stood up at one point and realized my feet were purple, my hands were purple, my nose and cheeks were purple, and my chin was purple. They rushed me in and didn't think I was going to make it another two hours. My lungs had collapsed, my veins had collapsed, my blood pressure was nothing. They realized that my spleen was about ready to burst. It was 10 times its normal size. And at one point, I asked the nurse if I was dying, and she said, we're doing everything we can to save you. And I remember being in surgery, and I had a choice if I wanted to stay or if I wanted to go. And I made the choice to stay. That was kind of the beginning of my new life. They had to amputate both of my legs below the knee. And it was, you know, incredibly challenging to even wrap my head around the idea that I don't have legs anymore. But yet, I was ready to take that challenge on and, and move forward with my life and figure out a way to do the stuff that I love to do. I started thinking about snowboarding. Like I visualized myself being strong and healthy and helping other people. I do a lot of events where I talk about meningitis prevention and vaccination. As happy as I am with my life right now, I know that I'm lucky. I'd hate for someone to go through what I had to go through, especially when there's a vaccine that could help prevent it.